friends and welcome back. I'm glad that you're with us. So the last couple days we've done a very, very quick review of how to determine if two equations are related and how to check one addition versus the subtraction. Now I'm going to give you one that's a little bit harder. We're still going to be doing the same process, but we're going to be checking against four. So as you see here is my fact family triangle and my number bond builds right on top of it. So they're connected. So you see my addition and my subtraction are right there. So it's building right on top. What's going to be different today is we are going to build all four equations to determine what items are related. So if I started and they gave me a three plus 12. Okay, well, that's going to go up here as three plus 12. The problem is that's a lot to make those dots for. So I'm going to start with my 12 and I'm going to count up my three. So 12. 13, 14, 15. And I see that I have a total of 15. And then I'm going to read the, my triangle in the reversal. So if three plus 12 is the same as 15, if I read it backwards, 12 plus three is the same as 15. So this is a fact that can be used to check. But these are both addition. So if I did something wrong, it's not gonna really show up in the addition because I still added those same numbers. Where I'm gonna find out if my number is correct is when I come down here to my subtraction options. When I use look at subtraction, I'm taking these three numbers and I'm making sure they fit. So instead of just reading the triangle, we're gonna actually do the work. So my largest number, my whole, is again 15. And since I'm doing subtraction, I know that that does have to go at the beginning. Now I'm going to do 15 minus 12, okay? So 15 minus 12. If you don't know that, you could do the whole thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And I'm gonna subtract, oops, sorry, 13, 14, 15. And I'm gonna subtract 12 of them. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And you'll see that I had three left over. So 15 minus 12 does in fact equal three. If I know this is true, then it is true that 15 minus three will be the same as 12 because my fact family triangle is correct, which means all three of those numbers have to be used to prove this equation. All right, friends, good luck.